The big three colleges in Buffalo is UB or University at Buffalo, Canisius College, and Buffalo State. But where are these colleges located in retrospective to the city? What's around them? What are the amenities? And what neighborhoods will you either be living in or working in for these colleges as a professor moving up or staff of these colleges? This is what this entire video is all about. And we're about to dive really deep into each one of these colleges and the neighborhoods that surround them right now. Now, what's going on, you guys? I hope all is well. As always, this is the Buffalo Living Channel. And today, we're talking about a very big portion or part of the Buffalo community, which are the top three colleges around here. Now, in total, I think we got about like nine colleges in Buffalo, which is even crazy to think about. But the big three are University of Buffalo, for sure, Canisius, and then Buff State. Now, there are other ones. So if you're looking at Damon, Madai, or any other places like that, just leave a comment box just leave a comment in the box below and i'll make sure that i cover those but for today we're going to cover the big three where are they located what are the amenities around them as someone who's coming up here to work where will you be living if you want to stay closer to the college or a little bit further away it is really your choice as to what you guys want and where you guys want to be living with a city suburban feel or whatever you guys are accustomed to now this video is more for professors or staff members looking to move up and work at one of these colleges or move into the area of one of these college, not so much for the students. But as a student, it will give you a great picture or point of view of what Buffalo has to offer in the, uh, the neighborhood, sorry about that, of each one of these colleges. So we won't waste any time. If you guys don't already know, my name is Devontae Davis, the local realtor in and around the Buffalo area. I love real estate. I love being of service even more than real estate. So if you guys are moving up to the Buffalo area or you guys are in the Buffalo area, probably going to one of these colleges or just looking to move around just watching this video make sure you guys hit me up with a call email or text i would love to be of service helping you guys find that next home the next rental and then you're buying a home later or selling the current one and then being able to purchase in the buffalo area whatever it is let's jump on a zoom call asap so that we can help you guys out with that let's start with number one which is the biggest it's going to take us a little more time just because it's a massive massive campus that literally stretches all over buffalo Buffalo, which is University at Buffalo or UB as we like to call it. For UB, this has two main campuses. You have North Campus, which is up in Amherst, and then you also have South Campus in our University Heights slash University District area. Now we're gonna start with uh, the South Campus and then kind of work into North and then we'll kind of bounce back and forth with all the topics that we discussed early on. The University at Buffalo campus is absolutely massive i mean it stretches all the way to the basically the middle of amherst and then all the way down back inside the city of buffalo so i mean it is very very big now depending on where your department is you can either be inside the city or you can be in that amherst area where you live and we'll talk about this in one second really depends on your comfortability and then kind of what your lifestyle is you can work inside the city or south campus and still live in amherst or chitawaga wherever it's close and still be able to you know get to work fairly quickly remember buffalo is a 15 minute city it's not going to take long to get to either one of these campuses unless you just live way out rural somewhere or in east aurora and then working in amherst i wouldn't recommend that especially during the winter time but you have your options when it comes to it so starting with south campus south campus is located inside the city and what we call our university district or university heights neighborhood this neighborhood is located literally right off of main street and north bailey main street is going to be like your main focal point especially once you move in and out of this neighborhood for sure the university district is a very very popular area not because only of the school but the restaurants around it like the steer and you also have the height experience which we'll talk about later some of the best wings in buffalo but you're also you're also on main street so this is a cut through everybody uses this street all the time so it's always filled with traffic i mean day in and day out when it comes to the north campus this campus is about 15 minutes away from from the south campus and this is located in a town that we call 
Amherst. Now, Amherst is the largest suburb we have, and frankly, probably one of the safest and most quiet and most relaxed that we have as well, too. Amherst is always ranked, I mean, year after year in the top five around the Western New York area for being one of the most nicest and safest areas around Buffalo. Now, the neighborhood that you are in is called Sweet Home. That is where the North Campus or that Northern part of the UB campus is. Let's talk a little bit about the areas around each one of these campuses, starting with South. Again, South Campus is located right inside the city. I mean, you're a, in a great proximity to every part of the city when it comes to the university district slash heights area this university district is full with a lot of young people a lot of young adults a lot of kids too as well um you know those 18 year olds that like to party and this is definitely prevalent on a friday or saturday night especially in that fall semester you don't really see them in the winter time too much not many people party in the winter unless you got a house party or something but in that fall time from about september to november you walk around there you're gonna see nothing but a lot of college kids outside having a good time especially on a friday and or saturday night now this could be some people's ideal some people may not want to live around now we'll talk about the housing in one second ours as far as who's who's owning in that area and who's renting because of the amount of young adults in that area and just the kind of culture and vibrancy in the area there are a lot of renters inside that area 68 percent of people 68 percent of people inside the university district says heights are renters and that could be including you know some true buffalonians too as well because of LaSalle and Kennington and we'll talk about the how the housing plays a major factor into that in just one second but 32 percent of the people do own in that area and it is prevalent on a few major streets like Larchmont, Pelham and you also have Rodcliffe which are some beautiful beautiful homes true old school lot of charm four square huge two-story homes so if you do want to still live in that area if a couple streets away from you you don't mind you know young adults having a good time this area has some really really nice sizable houses and you're still close to Kenmore now you kind of have a few different neighborhoods that kind of borders the north campus which are really sweet home and you also have getsville which is right behind it and parts like really like parts of williamsville but personally i would say it's sweet home and then getsville for sure that is the two neighborhoods that kind of make up the surrounding areas around the ub north campus now again this is a two extremely safe neighborhoods really really nice but and this is all based on statistics but this is always ranked in the top five or type you know 10 safest areas around the buffalo area and you really have a mixed crowd here you have a lot of homeowners but then you also have you know students who live inside the area so you have that young and you have those people who's been living in getsville probably the last 40 years so you do have a great mix this is a true suburban feel more of like a suburban city feel but i mean it's suburban once you go out there it you feel suburbania all the way up and down so but on the opposite end of the south campus you have 71 percent of people who actually own their home inside this area ub does have designated kind of like um student housing but you can find in some areas or some complexes, especially the, the, when they just built off Buffalo Air, you'll find residents who live in Buffalo or in, and you also have student housing kind of mixed in all together. So it really just depends on where you want to live. And they also have a lot of condos in that area too. If a condo is something that you want more than buying a single family, you can really mu pretty much find a house for anybody in this area. Like I said, from condos to single families, there's not too many double in the area but the price ranges do vary all across this zip code that you're going to be purchasing in is 14228 or renting in is going to be 14228 now the average is a bit higher again amherst is known kind of like that prestigious neighborhood or prestigious uh community so prices in amherst have always been historically higher than a lot of other places around if you're looking to purchase in this uh area you're going to be looking at an average of about 387 thousand now i know this a bit high compared to our our buffalo average or 
Buffalo Niagara average of 260, but you can definitely find homes around the 250 to about 300. And condos, they're gonna be smaller, but you can still probably find them in that low twos to about high $100,000 range. Now, if you're talking about a rental, just about over half the people in the Amherst area pay anywhere from about a thousand to about fifteen hundred dollars per month to rent. That is something that you guys want to think about, depending on your guys' budget and how that flows for you. When we move it over into South Campus or back inside the city, the rentals are going to fluctuate. I can tell you that right now. If you're living in a university, you can probably pay a thousand for a three bedroom or probably eleven hundred for a three bedroom, depending on how modern or how renovated it is. You can probably also find some over there for about eight hundred, seven hundred. So it really is going to depend on depend on a the landlord and how remodel it is. As we talked about those really really nice streets earlier, so if you did want to purchase and live inside those communities. Those houses over on Larchmont, Pelham, and Rogue, uh, Radcliffe, those houses are going to, just because they're on those streets, are gonna be around 325 or more. That's for sure. Especially inside the city, that's pretty high for Buffalo. But again, those houses are absolutely beautiful and that university district is a great place to be, especially the further you get to Niagara Falls Boulevard, like Allenhurst or closer to Kenmore. If you're pushing back east, going across from Main Street, you, you're you really gonna be looking at about $194,000 for a single family. But in that area, you're going to find yourself with a lot of doubles so for you young professors that are not afraid of a an investment property or you know you're only gonna be here for you know your residency maybe only two three four years you may want to think about buying a double now it's gonna be a little more expensive but you know you can always either rent it out later or have somebody cut that bill in half for you once you're living in a bottom end or top and then you know you're, you're renting out the other side so for a double in that area you're gonna be looking around 250 LaSalle maybe a little bit closer which is a neighborhood right behind or Kensington maybe a little bit cheaper um, which is the two neighborhoods right behind depending on your comfortability and where you guys really want to live now being at South Campus because it's on the border of Amherst and Buffalo you also can look in areas like Snyder and or Eggersville these two small areas I'm gonna put up three fingers these two small neighborhoods are located inside of Amherst but they're just outside the city enough for you still be able to get to work fairly quickly and about eight to seven minutes away. Now let's talk about the amenities around both of these campuses here. Your amenities at South Campus is going to be the University Plaza. Everybody knows this plaza, super famous plaza in the Buffalo area, especially the food, the amount of food they have in this plaza, the shops, the Dollar General over there, they got a couple clothing stores in that um, um, that plaza and then also the big tops at MNT Bank that really service that entire community. Now. If you guys go down the street, though, on Main Street, as we mentioned earlier about good food, it's a spot called The Steer, and it's a spot called The Heights on Main Street. Gym Steakout is over there, but I don't really eat Gym Steakout. I'm gonna just tell you that. As someone who's coming in, you may wanna try it out with like one of those touristy attractions, but there's way better food than Gym Steakout. That's just my personal opinion. Either way it goes. There's a spot called The Heights Main Street, and these are literally across the street from each other, and then a Steer. Excellent bars, excellent chicken wings these are some of the best chicken wings in the town i'm telling you guys and not many people know about the heights but this place has the best garlic palm chicken wings i've ever had around the city they will compete with anybody and the drinks are a really really good price because you guys are still inside the city you guys know again buffalo is a 15 minute city so you can get anywhere very very quickly because the South Campus is so close to Niagara Falls Boulevard, if you take Niagara Falls Boulevard 10 minutes, you have all the shopping, all the restaurants, even more than you can ever think of up Niagara Falls Boulevard. And this is a short, I'm talking about even if you live by Aldi's or Minnesota, you can still get back to uh, Niagara Falls Boulevard in less than 15 minutes, 13 minutes. And you have your Wegmans over there, you have Consumer Square over there. I mean, you have the Boulevard Mall right behind it. So you have plenty of things over by South Campus that you can access in 15 minutes or less. When it comes to the North Campus or really pushing out back towards Amherst, you have two roads. Two of your main roads is gonna be Maple Road and then Sweet Home Road. 
those are going to be where most of your shopping is done and your amenities and your restaurants are you could take maple road all the way up and you're going to have a bunch of different restaurants especially if you talk about like kyoto which is like a hibachi your shopping is going to be like all these or maybe even tops over there you got laser tron for the kids and the babies i mean you got red lobster all types of good things and again you're in amper so it's not as walkable as say the south campus may be but it's still a short drive away to access all your amenities so if amherst is the place or the north campus is the place that you really want to be working in the schools that your child is going to go to is either going to be williamsville or sweet home both very good schools sweet home is the most diverse suburban school that we have williamsville is in the is the number one it always competes for one two or three it goes williamsville orchard park clarence those three always compete for the top spot as the number one school statistically uh, around the buffalo or west new york area i don't want to make this video super long so make sure you guys check back next week for the Buffalo State and Canisius video. UB takes up a lot because it's a massive campus and there's so much around it. But part two will be Buff State and Canisius that we will get into next week. So make sure you guys check back for this. Again, if you guys don't already know, my name is Devontae Davis, the local realtor in and around the Buffalo area. If you guys have any questions about UB, especially as a professor or a staff member looking to move up, make sure you guys shoot me up with a call, email, or text. I would love to be of service to you guys to help you and have a friendly face once you guys get to the buffalo area especially if you guys are looking to purchase or rental or whatever it is it may be all right so if you guys need anything hit me up to call email text and check back for part two next week for buffalo state and canisius